freedom81.com right now and change your life today. That's freedom, the number 81.com. Freedom81.com and start earning great money as soon as next week. I am uh, speaking with John Laboutier, BootsBlastNewsMax.com, and the website is JohnLaboot.com. Did I get that right, John? Yes, you did, Chuck. J-O-H-N-L-E-B-O-U-T, JohnLaboot.com. You know, uh, there was uh, the New York Times, uh, Marine Dowd, uh, once more with feeling. I don't know if you read that, but I saw part of it, and uh, she was talking about uh, that... He is uh, rooted in his ability to inspire. However, he withholds that inspiration when it is most needed, like uh, on the oil spill and the, the bank bailouts and everything else. It's the AIG. Uh, the guy just doesn't know when to take the bull by the horns, I guess. Well, I, look, I, I think this is a guy, frankly, who has no business being president. <laughs> he, he got there not the way you're supposed to get there. You're supposed to earn your way up the political ladder by proving you can lead in other positions as you work your way up. None of that happened here. What happened here was the left selected this guy, and he was the most liberal senator. That's mm -hmm. one reason they picked him. And because he's half black, half white was the other reason. And he is a good speaker with the teleprompter. He reads the speech well. So they picked him, and they put everything behind him. And Hillary got in the way for a while, but they finally dispatched her. Meanwhile, the Republicans <laughs> screwed everything up, uh -huh. and the economy tanked, and boom, he's, he's president. Without having a clue how to be president, he's never led anybody to do anything. It's almost laughable to watch the whole thing. And, and as you say, go ahead. Go well, ahead. I was just going to say, we've known this, and I've said this on your mm -hmm. show for the last year, but... If you don't listen to talk radio, which the left does not do, if you if you just read the mainstream media, they they cut this guy more slack even during his first year, even though with the economy continuing a meltdown, he spent all his energy on this health care bill, which today 60% of the people want to repeal. Now, what kind of president spends his time on a bill that the majority of people are against, and they're still against it two months after it's been passed? And the same applies with what we spoke about at the beginning of, of our conversation, the Arizona immigration law. Oh, Here, absolutely. once again, he won't look at the polls because he has to, well, as you put it, you know, he just uh, follows the Western European anti-American, anti-free enterprise, liberal socialist model. That's his whole thing. And if the American people want to protect the borders, uh, if they want to get rid of the, especially the violent criminals that are coming over here, and the polls show it, uh-uh, nope, he cannot, he cannot face up to it. It's, uh, but, but the, like you say, uh, hey, at, finally the mainstream media, you know, uh, when I hear that Chris Matthews came down on him, I couldn't believe that. That's, uh, yeah, I but thought I, he was I, ready I, to be I, adopted. I, I know, me too, but I really wonder how much they'll stay down on them. I, I think that they, they'll they rescue them as best they can. Um, it doesn't take them much. I mean, you go back to the whole Reverend Wright fiasco, and any regular political candidate who had that baggage of, of being friendly or even closer than friends, he, Reverend Wright was like a surrogate father to Barack Obama. Mm -hmm. And... Yet he could just say, "Oh, I have nothing to do with them. I, I, I didn't, you know, I don't uh, uh, go along with any of his views." Well, if you don't go along with them, what were you sitting there for 20 years for? Why are you yes. dedicating books to him and using the guy's uh, sermons as the title of your book and all the stuff that yeah. went on? And you know, uh, uh, John, if only one percent of Reverend Wright sunk into his skull, that's too much from Reverend Wright, in my opinion. Yep, and then he then he just. Um, says I'm not friends with Reverend Wright anymore, and that's the end of it, and there's no no fallout, no repercussions, nothing. Uh, that's the mainstream media covering for Barack Obama. You know, uh, who was it, Dukakis, that put the sit on the tank? It, he, yeah, he was snoopy, yeah. put the helmet that on. That did it, you know. Yeah. That was the end of it, you know what I mean? Yeah. Or if they said, well, maybe he's unbalanced, but, you know, here is Barack Obama, 
and all of his, uh, <laughs> well, just the, the one thing about, you know, well, we've campaigned in 50 states and we got five more to go or whatever it was, anyone else, that would have been the end of their campaign. But they were hell-bent on getting this guy, and uh, they did so, and now we're going through hell. There you go. And hey, Chuck, John. I, uh, <laughs> oh, sorry, Chuck. We're all out of time, and, uh, and I want to thank you very much, and make sure the uh, listeners uh, hook up with you at johnleboot.com. johnleboot.com, thank you very much, sir, and we'll do it again. Thanks, Chuck. Talk to you soon. Thank you. Joe Gazzardi, Vidare.com, Lodi News Sentinel, coming up uh, his article, Remembering Baseball in Wartime, and also a look at some of the mainstream media propagandists who are faring badly. Boy, things are turning around. We'll see. Let's take a break. <laughs> 